folks, what are we doing today in Radon World? Well, if you have to put a fit, so good. I'm trying to shoot a radon video. If you have to put a radon system right smack dab front and center of a house, this is the way you ought to do it. Hi, my name is Scott. I'm a radon mitigator in Virginia. I make videos for other radon mitigators, those looking to get into the business. If you're a homeowner looking for a radon mitigator, I suggest you go to www.nrsv.org. That's the National Radon Safety Board. Just plug in your zip code, that'll put you in touch with a certified radon professional in your area. Okay. You see it yet? 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 There it is. So what we've done today is uh, we've used, uh, the slang is called a box fan. Uh, typically our radon fans are orbital and uh, that just simply would not do for this situation. And uh, here, I'll show you what we did. So this, this house is really deceiving. Um, well, let me take you a couple steps back. Um, I can assess a house within 15 minutes to like a half an hour you know a typical house to find out exactly where it ought to go and have a plan b location i looked this house over for a good hour and just trust me i'll, I'll save you <laughs> the tour of how the house is laid out it had to go right here and we've got a little bit of everything on this job this there are no components of the radon system inside the house evidenced by the manometer being outside. Why? The flooring, the pad starts up here, like uh, almost five feet high. So all this goodness is concrete and gravel. And um, so this puts us right below the pad and got the switch just a hair under six feet. You don't want them over six feet. And but anyway, um, this fan is made by Ray Donaway. It is the SF-180, which is comparable to the RP-145. That really makes me sound intelligent. But what that fancy speak for is a regular fan. Uh, we had a good gravel base underneath the slab, which calls for a regular fan. And um, so, yeah, nice little product that they make. And it really has saved my bacon on a couple occasions. And in fact, I'll take you to another job where we did the same thing. I filmed it a few months back and I'm just gonna edit it right into this video. So you're gonna get two for one. And um, so because there are no components of this radon system inside the house, um, you gotta have your visual uh, uh, confirmation that the system's working. Uh, this system, you can hear it, so you really don't need it, but you know rules are rules you need to have a manometer so there we go so we're moving a lot of air and we've used oversized downspout and we just we just primed and painted the whole system uh stark white is simply not going to do the oversized vinyl downspouts only come in white where i can get them so we painted them uh the fan itself comes in white and so we primed that with gray and used the uh primer paint combo on that and uh, that should hold up for many moons. Okay, well, I hope you picked up something. We're gonna go on to the next job. I'll show you how we came out on that one too. Okay, so here's another example of a box fan setup that we actually uh, painted to match the house. I'm really tickled with how that came out. That's, I think we nailed that. So in a situation like this right here, uh, an, a spherical or orbital fan, uh, it just, it just, it'd be like just wiping a booger on this house. <laughs> I'm really happy with that. Uh, uh, this was the right call. So that right there is the, uh, it's made by Radon Away. It's called the SF-180. You're kind of getting two for one here. Um, there you go. Good stuff. Um, on this house, there was only one place for the system and it's in a finished area. Um, see right here is unfinished. That would've been awesome, but uh, there's a big deck and, and so forth there that just wasn't gonna pan out. So here we go, put it right here. And uh, what we're gonna have happen is 
I've got a guy coming later that I'm hooking uh, the customer up with to uh, box in the system. Uh, he's just gonna put, you know, uh, frame it out, put drywall, paint, uh, match the trim, and so they'll be good to go. Uh, there's a saying that I learned a while back. It goes, not every dollar is worth making. And uh, so I could do it, but I'm really, really bad at it. So I'm not doing the customers a favor. I'm not doing myself a favor. So kick the work to somebody that does it well and enjoys it. And uh, you know, hey, maybe it's good karma. Okay. And also I do like to pretend that nobody is coming after me. So I still want to make it as neat as possible. Uh, in fact, the guy is, is about a month, but he's just about a month backed up. So this thing's going to sit here rocking out for a full month. And if we were careless and just, you know, just forced it through and tore up the drywall, I don't know, I'd have a hard time sleeping at night knowing that folks trying to move in, enjoy their new house, and we got it all nasty. So uh, we put it still as neat as possible as if nobody was coming after us. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and shake up a martini and uh, have a toast to the good life. Psych, got a couple other places to be, hope you found it helpful. So here's a couple more tips here. This is really just burning me up. Oh, I wish I had some black couplings, um, but 99% of my jobs I use white couplings and I just, oh, that's burning me up right there. Ah, gotta get over it. And it's a long way to the store from here too. So we had to just make a judgment call and make it work. Fortunately, it's on this side of the house. So we're gonna let that, I'm gonna let it go. Deep breaths, okay. This manometer setup, um, I'm, I'm kind of proud of this right here because you don't typically have to, uh, you know, you're not going to find a lot of jobs where you need to put a manometer outside, but when you do, you've got to keep water from getting in the thing or they'll get all jacked up and get bubbles and stuff. So what I've done is uh, I've just simply cut it, you know, in half, more or less, the tube that comes with the manometer. And these little boogers right here, uh, they're meant for coaxial cable and so they're a quarter inch and the tubes are quarter inch and you can get them with the masonry nails and so um, that's I'm, I'm kind of proud of that because as far as I know I invented it I haven't seen anybody else do it so um, all right I hope that helps you okay on to the next one